Now, so after reviewing the Electrolux QWC, no washing machine is complete without the matching tumble dryer. And that's exactly what we have here. The Electrolux Quick Dry QDC. 6 kilogram low capacity with a 130 litre drum. Still, just like the washing machine, it is 595 millimetres wide, um, 835 millimetres tall, but it's uh, it's 725 millimetres deep. It is indeed ever so slightly deeper than the washing machine, but it will happily sit on top of it. So don't know worries there. This is a vented dryer, of course, so. Uh, there is a vent hose at the back, uh, but only at the back. So compared to a normal Zanussi Electrolux vented dryer, it only has one vent position. Door and there. Now, just pull it. To shut it, just push it to. It is magnetised. Now I'm going to take a look. Everything. Right, so we have a magnet. In fact, we have the magnets here at the top. Um, the door is also reversible and it's kind of based on the old Zanussi condenser dryer doors. Hence this design. So, it goes through the door down and back out but the design is annoying because if you want to clear out fluff from behind the filter on a more modern Zanussi condenser dryer you can take the filter out and you can then take this plate off the front and then that way you can get access and get rid of all the fluff except you can't on this hmm So, on the Zanussi condensers of the 90s, here would be the condenser. They're using the same kind of door, so they put the hole here, except it immediately goes that way. It goes that way, and then there is a fan. So the entire thing, the air is dragged through the dryer via the fan at the front. Again, Trying to clean it. These are solids. All that's kind of solid. Not great. I, it's not great considering that these dryers should be maintained frequently as it's under frequent use. We've got the drum. 130 litres. Aha. Uh -huh. Extremely deep. But it's a stainless steel. We have a plastic band with three drum paddles as normal. This is a lot deeper than your normal Zanussi or Electrolux tumble dryer. So, considering that's like a four, four kilogram load out of the washing machine, it doesn't really fill it. Right, simple programs. You can set the language every time. You can then it will then revert back to English usually, um, depending on the configuration of the machine. So basically, you've got normal, which is high heat to extra dry, or low heat extra dry. Normal uh, high heat at dry, which is obviously cupboard dry and low heat, and an iron dry normal and low heat, which leaves them damp, ready for ironing. And then you've got, basically, a dryer time instead. So instead of using the sensor, you can just use time instead. Um, dries, set time. So, so what it does, if you press it, it will automatically start. 
then increase it by five minute steps also you can lower it to five minutes up and you can have it cool down as well but it'll go all the way up to looks like 85 minutes Is there just nothing in there? I oh, know there is, there's the towels in there. Then you got low heat, same, push it, it'll start. You can increase it all the way up to 90 minutes. Then we've got, uh, where is it? Then we've got no heat, which is drying with no heat, with the heater off. Push it again. See how much you can go up to. Again, up to 90 minutes. Right. That's all your programs and options. Max load for cotton is obviously going to be 6 kilo. Max load for low heat is probably going to be about for 3. Just a bit. But to be honest, it doesn't stay anywhere. They just expect you to know. Hmm.
Right, all done. Well, this is here. Take it out. And just slide it back in again. Right, so we're gonna give this out of 10 then. Well, it is solidly built. It is, it comes in at 58 kilo in weight, which is about twice as much as a, a normal domestic machine. Not entirely sure exactly though. Build quality wise, it's brilliant well built, but mechanically, reliability wise, it's already squealing. So, that's not good. You know, especially on a drive that's 2014, 10 year old. Driving results as well, not great. Um, put them on normal drive, which we've just done, and they can usually come out a bit damp, um, like so. Generally speaking, if you put just all towels in, um, they will just about dry fine on normal, but if you put anything other than towels in, for whatever reason, it won't necessarily sense them properly so uh, it's simple to use I do like it that way it, it, is it quick though it's about as quick as a normal tumble dryer from you know the normal domestic ones they're not that more quicker um, yeah um, I'll give it about 7 out of 10 is reasonable. They're reasonable compared to me meals. Uh, the mealer versions are a lot, a lot better. But these are, you know, the, the, for price wise, they're not not as good as the mealers. And that's it. Right. Hope you enjoy my uh, review. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll see you in another video. It's bye for now.